It's time for the latest from the Eat, Drink, Explore news desk and Miss Patty Piper. And what's top in the news today, Patty? Well, good morning, all of our Eat, Drink, Explorers out there. Here's what's making news. A new study shows that college students who binge drink are happier. The study published by the American Sociological Association says that's because binge drinking is associated with high status. Students... Or high status students, I should say, as opposed to low status students. Now, because binge drinking at many colleges is tied to this higher social status, those involved have a greater sense of their own social satisfaction. The co authors of the study stated in an email to Eat Drink Explore that the study does not encourage students to drink more, but rather it shows why binge drinking is common in college. All right, all you night owls out there, if you're maybe perhaps still up, (laughs) maybe you're sleeping, (laughs) but listen up. A recent study published by the American Psychological Association shows waking up earlier leads to higher rates of happiness, positivity, and productivity. (laughs) That is getting support in our studio. The study also finds those who are considered morning people report feeling healthier. The study surveyed more than 700 adults regarding their mood and health throughout the day. The results show to get the most out of each day with less stress us, make a to-do list the night before, and then get to bed early. All right. Nicole Powers is joining us now, and you are here this morning, Nicole, to discuss marketing healthy foods to children. I am. Thank you, Patty. Cornell researchers released a study this week that found when healthy food is marketed the right way to kids, they do in fact eat more of it. The researchers say that although characters like Cookie Monster and Elmo have been used mostly for marketing junk food, using these same tactics will lead kids to choose healthier options in the cafeteria. The study was published in the August issue of the journal Archives of Pediatrics and Adolescent Medicine, which also said that this research is a chance for nutritionists and school lunch planners to truly change the poor eating habits of our youth. The study was conducted in upstate New York, where a little over 200 children were given the choice of a cookie, an apple, or both as a part of their lunch. When the cookie and the apple were both left without a label, only 20% chose the apple. However, when the apple had a sticker with Elmo's image on it, 37% of the kids chose to go with the healthier option. Dr. Wansink, he's the lead author of the study. He did not have time to speak with Eat, Drink, Explore this week, but he said in a press release regarding the findings, this is a powerful lesson for fast food companies, food activists, and people involved in the school food service. All right, Nicole, thank you for that. Yeah. Well... And on the topic of schools, styrofoam food containers often used for to-go orders in restaurants and cafeterias can take hundreds of years to break down in landfills. The Los Angeles Unified School District decided this week to eliminate the use of styrofoam in all its cafeterias. The school district is joining a growing number of districts that are now choosing more eco-friendly options after pressure from students and parents. Districts in San Diego, Oakland, Berkeley, and Portland are all doing the same. Some critics argue eliminating styrofoam will cost the already financially troubled schools too much money. A new study shows the obesity epidemic is not only causing physical problems, but also mental problems. Obesity can slow cognitive development and mental performance, which may lead to dementia. The study was published in Neurology, and it shows this is likely because of high blood pressure and cholesterol. The researchers say more research is needed to understand the link between obesity and poor cognitive function. They also recommend a healthy diet, regular exercise, and no smoking, Randall White. One more reason. (laughs) That's all we need to stay uh, fit and lean, right, Patty? Diet and exercise. We hear it over and over again.